Uh, before I begin my sad uh, commentary, I just want to congrats all of Go Blue, starting from um, my DV brethren, uh, maybe Morris, uh, Dante Chase, Prime Time B, Monterey Moore, CJ Smooth, and of course, uh, everybody else outside the DVE circle, uh, Everything King, and the rest of his W3 crew, and um, everyone else that reps Go Blue. Now, I gotta say, um, this was quite an interesting start and an interesting finish. I mean, Aiden Childs, I mean, there were moments that he was poised in the first half, but then uh, the Michigan D, D line tightened up. And, um, I mean, David Warren, I mean, he didn't do a whole lot, but he damn sure did enough uh, to put them over. And it just goes to show you that um, we got some work to do. And as far as getting any traction in this rivalry, that may not be the case for a long, long time. Because I only see Go Blue getting better from here. And and that's my honest take on this. Because they're not going to be this... Uh, they're not going to struggle like this forever. They're going to finally find their niche again. And eventually, they're going to go right back to the top. I mean, this is what Go Blue football is. I mean, they are a fucking machine. And for some reason, um, we're starting at the bottom of the game because of uh, a certain fuck from Colorado decided to put our uh, program, um, you know backwards, you know, with his dumbass scandals and his, uh, one, this one year, this one year of goodness, but decided to revert back to his old self, which Judge Smith got to clean up. I mean, I, and, and, and my honest opinion, you know, Judge Smith should have had better footing, but because of the previous asshole, who dis who want to uh play uh playing phone you know, phone sex. You know and put put our program in a hole. I mean, ninety five million dollars wasted, ninety five million dollars wasted, which means John D. Smith had to accept less to come here. I mean, this is ridiculous. But back to the game. I mean. Even at their lowest, and I do believe that Go Blue was at their lowest, but we it just goes to show you. Putting the game in the hands of a 19-year-old may not always be the best thing. And he showed the very reason why he was 19 years old. That Michigan D line was nothing to play with, and it definitely turned up in the second half, and the D line showed itself. I mean, missing a couple of passes, the veiling. I mean, missed a wide open, uh, another wide open pass. I mean, right at right near what when it was at the twenty yard line, Miss Jack veiling. Way to the left, and I'm like, that was a that was quite a makeable throw, but he missed it by a couple of inches to Valing's left. <sighs> that would have gave us a first down. We wouldn't even have to. I mean, <sighs> another. I mean, again, Nick Carter, uh, my man Carter, Nathan Carter. Great outing, great, absolutely amazing outing, but unfortunately tonight it was wasted. It was wasted because Michigan's D line decided to turn up on the pass rush, which obviously worked. The second half was theirs. I mean, yeah, we made that one. Yeah, uh, Nathan Carter made that hell of a run, hell of a run, and he was the only reason why we was in this game in the first place. I'm just gonna be honest, cause without without his work, man, this would have been a hell of a worse game than before. 
And that's all I'm saying about that, man. Congrats to Go Blue. I'm hanging my head in shame again. If we couldn't even get them at their lowest point, ugh, it's going to be hell from here. Until we decide to get tough in, in, the, uh, in the recruiting game. We got to get tougher in the recruiting game. We just have to. If we want any shot at beating them at their better levels, which is coming soon. So, this is your boy, this is your uh, Spartan dude, your go white, go green rapper. 313 here, man. Congrats to go blue. Have at it. Have at it in the comment section. I deserve it.